Kids went back to school in the Fargo School District today. First day enrollment for the district at 11,265. That's up almost 100 students. For parents and students at Discovery Middle School this morning, there were some noticeable changes in the parking lot. Valley News Team's Natalie Parsons explains. For most students, summer officially ends when it's time to head back to school. And parents are noticing a change when it comes to dropping off and picking up their children this year at Discovery Middle School. You can't park in the loop anymore. They're like, you'll have to park in either one of the lots. Diana Grant is wondering how it will all work out while driving her children to and from school. As for Trent Legacy, he's not phased by the new drop off or pickup changes, but he arrives early each time to make things easier. First week of school is pretty horrible. It's just, yeah, everybody getting back into a rhythm. Discovery Middle School saw a drop off confusion Thursday morning, so they came up with a new plan. Emailing parents later in the day to make use of both the west and south lots to no longer park in the loop and drop students off in designated areas and have them walk to your vehicle at pickup. Where you see the red X's are for buses only. And there's kids walking all over the place through here. And it's going to take, you know, one time for someone to get hit. And it's like, then what are they going to do? Discovery's principal says in the past, with only one drop-off point, traffic would back up on 40th Avenue. But the new plans will alleviate that and keep things moving. They come in one entrance and go out the next. And, and both parking lots, so it gives us two dropout loops. Dr. Davis, along with some parents, agree the first day of school is always congested, with more people than usual driving children to school. But in the days following, many will switch to riding the bus, further reducing congestion in the area. In Fargo, Natalie Parsons, Valley News Live. Discovery Middle School saw a decrease in enrollment this year due to boundary changes in the area. And for more information about the school's drop-off and pickup plans, head to our website, valleynewslive.com, and click on this story.